16 years old. That's the age of the boy killed Tuesday. Birmingham city leaders say it's time for the violence to stop. The city council is declaring a war on crime in our community. Joshua Rice, I am a running back slash wide receiver slash linebacker here at Carver High School, number five, known for J5. Josh's yeah. been playing football since he's about eight, eight years old. I used to play football all the time up in here, like on the couch. I'd be laying here on the couch and that. He thought we'd be playing football about, about four or five. And he'd be laying here all night. I'd probably throw him a lead football. Just laying on the couch. Sometimes he'd be sleeping on the football. The wall fall out. And he'd catch and dive over there. My father has played a huge role in my life. He always been there for me and for me since I was two years old. And he been there every step of the way. When I first got to Carver, I really didn't know what to expect because before I got there, I was just told that, don't go up there, man. Don't go up there, you don't need to go up there. And there's a bad spirit up there. You go up there, you just gonna fall right in with the bad crap. When I first arrived at Carver, the program was really downhill. We didn't really have that much support from our community. Like, the program, it just it really wasn't a program when I got up there. I ain't really started getting good lifting weights till about the end of my 10th grade year. Well, my plans after signing day is to continue finishing up with my senior year, continue to stay on the AB on the road, continue lifting weights, getting stronger, staying on the track and faster. That's about it. Stop resisting arrest charges. The FBI joins you. most important thing about school. It allows you to be who you want to be. <laughs> And you know, you know, with a, with a, with a, with a education is like the ultimate thing. You can be, be anything from like you want to be. You say you want to be a professional football player. I just want to dream, want to dream, want to dream to have something like that. But the education allows you to be anything way beyond that. An astronaut, president, who knows? Yeah, what I want to major in. And for my minor, I'm on you know, about criminal justice, like state trooper or something, police officer. But as far as business wise, oh, I want to have my own, my own, my own business. It's like the ultimate thing to have you know, in life is a college education. It, it's it's kind of like priceless, you know. Yeah. Get a scholarship. <laughs> you talking about the price of this, huh? Definition of price is the end of the world. Being hard working, hard working and dedicated to his, uh, his academics now compared to how he was, say, like when he was in the seventh grade, like around the eighth grade, or like clicked off. My name is 
DeAndre McCurry from North Birmingham. I have four brothers and one sister. I play middle linebacker, DN. My thoughts about Carver in the program, you know, from hearing what, what people was telling me in middle school, you know, I had, you had a lot of bad things. People was like, don't go there. You know, once you got there, you know, you know, you, you, wasn't, you wasn't gonna learn anything. You know, it's just a bad atmosphere. Things weren't gonna go for good for you. But you know, you know, once um, I got there, a lot of things were different than what I expected. How the program is different is that, you know, you brought, you, you had a few changes, more teachers came in, more coaches, and you know, all that, bringing all that together, you know, it just made one big, one big change. kind of made it where, you know, it, 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 it affected players, it changed the way they thought, um, just made everything better. He's been playing football since he was about four years old. He started out at Northside and North Birmingham. He's just always been that kind of kid, wanting to play football. I wouldn't say I have a specific person that played a huge role in my life, but my great granddad, he encouraged me from when I was young, from little league to up to middle school to high school, to always do me. Don't ever worry about what nobody else had to say. Just go to class, do your do your work. Don't never be a follower, be a leader. Mom is another person that played a huge role, as in from now. She 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 stayed she stayed on me every day, and to the day she she does she does a good job. She makes sure I do my homework. She makes sure that that if anything I need, she she tries and puts her butt to get it. Uh, DeAndre playing football was even when he first started playing out when he was young. He was just always good at it. Even in high school as he got older, he just reminded me so much of his dad. I mean, he's just like, um, just seeing him out there with the passion. He's just an all the way around good athlete. Some of my plans after signing day is just to finish strong. I have a 2.9 GPA. My, my goal is to get that to like a 3.0. Um, work hard, lift weights. Um, just to, you know, keep continue changing the community and um, helping my mom and continue to be a role model to my brothers. My name is Roger Womack and I play offensive and defensive line here at Carver High School. He's been playing football six years, but it's kind of funny because when he first started playing, he gave up. But when he went his seventh grade year of Hudson, he got interested in playing football, so he played a couple years at Hudson. 
and went on and did four years at college, and so I go to six years. Well, my eighth grade year, when I was trying to decide what school I wanted to go to, my family and they was talking to me, and it was like, man, Carver always been sorry, man. Don't go to Carver, you're just gonna be another sorry nigga at Carver. And then I got to talk to myself, and I started saying, well, I'm gonna pray about it. I'm not really a big prayer, but I pray about it. And, and the words that came from me, and it's always stuck with me, it said, if it's for you, it's for you. So I came to Carver. Um, when I first got to Carver, the school itself was not behind the football program. Cause they had a football program, but the students, the teachers, they all just knew when Carver went out there on the Thursday or Friday night that they was just gonna lose, and they was just gonna get slaughtered, and there was no hope for them. But now, I see more teachers at the game, more students at the game, and it just, it's different. It's a different atmosphere around the school. Who had the biggest impact on me in my life would have to be my parents and my siblings. Well, because I'm with them every day, and they they made me who I am. They, they raised me, and everything about me comes from them. So I, I have much gratitude to them for helping me grow up. Scholarship is going to help Roger because I already have a daughter in college and it is quite expensive. And these are expenses that I won't incur because Roger has this scholarship. Uh, when I go to college, I plan on majoring in business administrations with a minor in marketing uh, in hopes of starting my own business in the future. My plan at the signing day really doesn't consist of much uh, graduating. Keep doing what I've been doing, running, lifting weights, getting ready for college. And so remember, this is a very special ceremony. Um, this is uh, something that these kids have worked for, not just this year, but since they And so that's one thing that I'm gonna really reiterate today. These guys are all four-year Carver guys. They've been here through the thick and thin. They've been here when they were getting their butt whooped, but they're also here when they started to see the change. And so that is what is most important to me. So again, today, talk about uh, on one thing that I said, I had some words of encouragement. Uh, I said, persistence can change failure into extraordinary achievement. And what I meant by that is simple. Persistence. Persistence means to continuously do something. All right? We knew what Carver was before we got here. We all did, right? When we got here, the question is, what did you make of it? Persistence. How well are you going to dedicate yourself to your craft? And these three young men, I can say, have believed not only in me and Coach Carson, but they and Dr. Willis, they believed in you. They believed in North Birmingham. And their persistence is what got them, propelled them to the next level. If it was that easy, every high school student, student athlete would be up here signing a scholarship. But unfortunately, unfortunately that's not the case. So always take advantage of when of hard work or in the classroom. Understand how important that's going to be, not just for today, but one day for your future. And so if you, I want you to remember, remember this poll again. Persistence can change failure into extraordinary achievement. And, I, and when I saw that, it really directed to what these guys stand for. They were persistent about being great. So let's give them, let's give them a loud round of applause. First call, linebacker, six what? You're about 5'11, 225. Number four and 52. My man, the Andre
Next up, number five. They like to call J5, but my man known as Joshua.
I can really say that Midari has helped me become more of a hard worker, working as academic student, which has increased my ability to perform as a team player, both in class as well on the football field. I have been on the AB on the road since the beginning of my 11th grade year, and I told myself that I was going to continue to stay on the on the road like I am doing now. My GPA went from a 2.6 to a 3.0 in one year. Thank you, Ms. Dyer. I know my name is Ms. Dyer. You, Ms. Dyer, to let you know that I am a pr that I am proud to say that you have made a great impact on my life here at Joy Washington College. Thank you. 